Good afternoon and happy Saturday. I am at Wadswick Gunroom with the lovely Stuart, who's going to show us around a little bit and talk about what they've got in stock and what they've got going on. So let's get cracking. I've just asked Stuart um, what would be the best shotgun for a lady that's starting out. And he's actually just told me they've got a ladies section. So he's just going to talk through that and show us what they've got. So let's see. So Stuart, if I was a lady coming here for the first time and I said, what shotgun would you recommend? Um, for a beginner, what would you recommend to me? Completely depends on your budget, what okay. you're looking for. So what kind of shooting are you going to be doing? Mainly clays with a bit of game. Okay. Um, any preference on brand? No. Okay. And then the dreaded question, what's your budget? What, what, what kind of budget would you be looking at? If we said a sensible budget so it can cover most people, if we said like £2,000? Right. Okay. No worries. Um, I would probably go for... It's just above the budget, but I would go for a 687 Silver Pigeon 3 Victoria. I'd okay. I'd probably go for, um, just because I like the wood. Um, Show close up some. It's high performance steel shot proofed. Comes in at 2,285. It's okay. a Beretta, so you can uh, register the warranty for an extra 60 pound for 10 yeah. years. Let's have a little look at the engraving on that one. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Yep. That's a bit different, it's nicer than mine. <laughs> and obviously that's brand new as well, so you're getting the Beretta warranty. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a lovely looking gun. It's got the high comb for a lady. It's got the smaller grip as well, so it's yep. the pistol grip, so it's smaller for them. Um, it's really comfortable, uh, shorter barrels. Yeah, that's probably the one I'd go for. If you were looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, yep. I would probably go down the, road, the route of a something like a Coffs or an ATA. Um, with those, they're a little bit more budget friendly. Um, great guns, they're still really good guns. Uh, again, HP still shot proofed, so they're future proofed. Uh, you can get them in 12 gauges and 20. Yeah, um, they've got the Monte Carlo stock on them, so and obviously, they've got on that one. Yeah, and they've got obviously a smaller grip on them as well. Okay, and the engraving on that one. Oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah, so wow. these wouldn't be in hand engraved, they're obviously, they're going to be stamped. Yeah, um, in the factory. Okay, it's okay. pretty cool. Yeah. Stuart, if I didn't have a budget and I'm a lady coming in wanting a shotgun, what would you recommend then? Um, I would go for a Blaza, okay? Um, the, one of these, they are the F16 um, and they are the game intuition, okay? Um, they're a grade four, they're really nice. They're actually not that bad on the budget, so they wouldn't be too far over your budget, but brand new, uh, you can't beat a Blaza. Really nice wood, great mechanics inside. They're yep. a good workhorse. Um, yeah, they're a really nice gun. And how much was that on the ticket? That is 3,395 brand new. That's really not bad. I thought you were gonna say like four or five. Yeah, especially with that grade of wood as well. It's a really yeah. nice Yeah, what gun. grade of wood is that? That is a grade four. That is a grade four? Yeah. Okay, so it goes one to 10? Uh, believe so, yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, so we're just moving on to semi-auto. So what have you got there? So here I have a Browning. This is the um, Maxis Ultimate Ducks. Okay? Yeah. Um, this is a 30 inch with some really nice engraving. Let's have a little look if we spin it round. And that's on a composite stock. This is actually one of our second hand models that we've had in. That's not a bad price either, is it? No, that's with a, um, that's with multi-choke and that's HP steel proofed as well. Yeah. That's really take on the ducks and the geese. We're moving on to Blaza. So what have we got here, Stuart? Well, I actually have in this brand new Grade 8 Heritage game. And if you look at the wood on that. It's really nice. It is really nice. Wow. It's really pretty, isn't it? Is it nice on the other side as well? Can we have a look at that? That's nice. Let's have a little look at the engraving on there. Yeah, so you've got ducks in flight on one side and pheasants in flight on the other. Oh, lovely. Really nice. Let's look, look at the ticket. Can you tell us a little bit about this one? So this is a Blaza F16 Heritage game in 12 gauge. And obviously Blaza are known for just being amazing guns generally for uh, their mechanics and their internals. They're really great on recoil as well. Um, and obviously they've got beautiful wood and you've also got the custom ability with a, a Blaza as well. So you can always um, grab one of our booklets as we've got here um, and contact Blaza and change anything that you need to or you want to. So we're moving on to side by side. So what have we got here? So at Wardswick, we have a large collection of side by sides that people bring in, uh, whether or not they're retiring or that they um, they're moving over to high performance steel shot proof guns as well. Which means we have a lot of availability um, for side by sides. If you're looking to get into a shoot a side by side, come see us because we've got a full range. We also have uh, brand new ones as well, such as the Blaza, uh, sorry, the Beretta Parallelos, four eight six. 
Yep. And their HP still oh, so as well. Yeah. Perfect. So let's have a little look along here. It's quite a nice selection. And obviously the, the budget ranges, I think we've got them from about £125 all the way up to about four and a half grand, five grand. Still quite nice engraving on them, isn't it? Indeed, yes. And it's, it's a classic way, it's a really nice way, and you get a lot of respect when shooting on side-by-sides in the film. Yeah, I think people like to see it, don't they? Before I head off and leave, I just thought I'd give you a little tour round and just show you how big the gun room is from start to finish. So I'm just going to do a lap round to show you everything and hopefully I won't miss too much. It is quite busy because it is a Saturday, so I've got to be mindful of that, but I'll try and show you what else they've got. You actually enter the gun shop from the country store. So if you come in straight away, Got lots of racking going on. Underneath, there's all the cartridge bags and extras that you might need. There's the ladies' guns where we first started. Moving on to rifles. All the slips. Yeah. Stock of cartridges. Yeah. It goes all the way round and continues on back to the door. Before Christmas, I entered a prize draw and I have won a box of clays and an easy thrower. So I'm going to take that home, Reese. So thank you very much. And it's been really enjoyable to meet you and thank you for showing us around. No worries. See you Thanks next time. Hello again. I know I said goodbye, but anyone that knows me well knows that I like to talk a lot. I did forget to mention that Wadswick Gun Room is in uh, near Corsham in Wiltshire, and it's also attached to Wadswick Country Store. Now, if you haven't been here before, it's a place to come. It's over two floors. There is a cafe. There is everything you could ever imagine for the equestrian all of your shooting attire that you'd need, um, any um, tweeds that you might need to go to the races, to dress up nice. It's got ideas for Christmas and birthday presents. You can get a little bit of tipple, you can get plates, you can get glasses, shooting socks, all of your Baker Boys and everything like that. So it's got lots going on. It's more like a day out or an afternoon out because the place is massive. So come and visit and check them out because they've got a lot going on. You can come and get your gun, you can get all your tweeds, all your accessories, and then you can have a feed afterwards. So this is me actually signing off. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.